want you to not worry because honestly, this is probably bound to happen anyway. And also because it's for the greater good. I also want you to not worry because I'm totally not mad that you had a fling with a fling gina. Bleh. And uh, I'm not planning on killing anyone. Least of all you. Thank you, guys. I, I honestly don't know what I would do without both of you here. It's just... We will help you through this trying time. What are we going to do with the sword <clears throat> trees? What we always do with the sword trees. Fight back. I thought we always gave them more swords. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they always just take them, because they're better at fencing than we are. <laughs> yeah. And scene. My vote... Anyone disagree? Mm. That I scene resolved well. I think we rambled on a little there. It did kind of trying to figure out where it, we're taking the scene or where it we rambled. Go. But I think at the end it got what it was meant to do done. I mean, mm. in the end, when you're trying to decide what to do with a dead body, you gotta do some rambling. <laughs> There's gonna be some bad ideas shot out, and There's also no how, how Michael set it up. That is was a big scene because it was dealing with multiple pairings of people. It was also mm. dealing with you. Because not I'm, directly. Not directly, but I feel like it's going to have a pretty big impact on you. And yeah. That, and that... You broke I, Bertha. No, 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 no. She comes apart. <laughs> Bertha. Anyways, now now we definitely have a shared oh. weapon. <laughs> oh, wow. You do have a shared weapon. Oh. Okay. I, have, I might have half of a Bertha. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was coming back. Maybe it was to kill him. Or Bertha. And then, you know, see, it would have been great. Because then I could have blamed it on him. I could have been like, no, nah, man, it was a, it was some kind of weird, sick, straight cult where they just killed, they offed each other. This is getting into weird territory. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does anyone no disagree thing, with this? Out. No. <laughs> no, that was pretty good. Who right when I said it, I was like, you know what? This is getting too close. Yeah. This is getting too close. It's, it's hitting <clears> me <throat> personally. It's hitting <clears> me <throat> deep. Sorry. Oh, you straight ups. <laughs> Okay, Mike, who do you give that? Uh, it, just one mirror, to? it mirrors a little too much. I think I'm going to. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll back off. Mm -hmm. We'll back mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. I think you shouldn't have been mad about it. My character, maybe, because I was betrayed and I'm just a little bit angry, but you. I know. I, didn't, I got mad too. Yeah, maybe you. I think you just want to shift blame onto him. I think I just wanted to agree with you. Okay. <laughs> be me. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't get a say in this because I, I did this. No, no. That is what it's determined being, but. It's oh, your turn, oh, so you I get to give, give that to someone. I get to yeah. give it to someone. Well, I mean, I don't want to be a dick to anybody. You have to break the tie, honestly. Yeah. I could, I could screw these guys over. Like, screw that pooch hard. Um, mm. Or you could make things you easier should. on Solon. Yeah. Or you could give it to yourself. Yeah, but that also screw Can you give it to no, yourself? No, he cannot. Oh, so okay. That would also screw my pooch. He has to give it away. For the first two rounds, so the first half... You have to give your dice away. Second okay. half, you have to keep it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to establish a scene between me and Devin? Dustin? De yes. Devin. Devin. You were right the first time. Devin. Devin, Devin Thermopolis. Devin Thermopolis. <laughs> and... Krusty? Krusty. Yes. And Krusty are over at Camp Life. Oh. Sabotaging things to All creep right. them out. Yep. Our objective is to um, do things that will demoralize camp lifers. Um, and we have my two corpses. And I have Bertha. Okay. Because I always have Bertha. Are you worried that you, when you find Bertha, but you only have half of her? Uh, I think I just have, like, Bertha behind me, so I don't necessarily know that half of Bertha is missing. <laughs> Things seem lighter. <laughs> Have you lost weight, Bertha? Bertha but you, I'm carrying I'm carrying corpses. Hey, you're carrying corpses. Okay. <clears throat> what if you're blind in one eye, so when you bring <clears throat> Bertha out, you don't notice? That's no. not how that works. <laughs> That's, and that he's not... a well-seeing individual. Okay. Yes. Um, this is at night, so we are doing a time shift, because everything's been during the day. Okay. This is around 1 in the morning, 1 a.m. Okay. Dead of night. <clears throat> and we'll start off meeting at uh, cabin 13 to gather the bodies. Okay. Okay. We're walking along. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm out there, like, dragging. I'm going to start off dragging something from under the cabin, and that's when you walk up to me. Ugh, fucking oh. piece of stupid thing. Oh, Krusty, there you are. Okay. What took you so long, Devin? I need help moving these. I've been setting up an entire camp by myself. I'm the only counselor. Nobody else has showed up yet. Are there, like, four other employees? Yeah, but it's actually still spring. We've got three months before the camp starts. Oh. Why are there campers already here? They came with me. We're setting up the camp. Why would you bring campers? Because we're going to destroy camp life. That's what these are for. Yes. Excellent. We're going to get them this time. Uh, where are we putting these? So, I have a plan. Let's, let's walk and talk. Here, carry this one. It's like two years old. It shouldn't, it shouldn't okay. smell anymore. Yeah, it doesn't have that new body smell, and it's pretty light still. Uh, nah. It? Oh, God, it's kind of falling apart here. I'm going to just take the other part off this side. Okay. So. Uh, uh, we can talk easier this way. What we need to do is we need to spread out all of the good parts of these bodies I, all over their camp. I don't want to insult the dead like that. I'm not going to destroy a body. Okay, what do you what do you think then? I don't know. We're uh, looking for shock and awe. I mean, that one's already falling apart, so I mean, we could spread him around a bit. Sorry, I dropped a bit. Yeah, it, it, it's been happening. Okay. I had a bag, but the bag rotted. Stupid burlap. So, I mean, we can spread that one, but... um, It's kind of spreading already. It, it is. Maybe we could put this one in one of their cabins? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Girls' dorms or boys' dorms? Girls' dorms. All right. You know what? Boy corpse. You know what? You know what? I just thought of something. Hmm. In cabin 12 of the camp life, they have that creaky floorboard that opens up. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I think we stick this one. Just that bit in there. Just, just that bit that you picked yeah. up. Can you go? Can you go open up that floorboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quick, put it in. Put it in. Got it. Wait. What? How come you only have half of your shears? What do you mean I only have half a berth? Well, I just saw you bending down to open the thing up, and I see your shear is sticking out of your... Oh my god, someone broke Bertha! Oh, golly gee, guys! What's, uh, what's going on here in cabin 012? Hey, oh, um, oh, well, it's, uh, well, that's a, that's a very nice light. What did you do to Bertha? I am a oh. camp counselor. This is my camp counselor ID. Oh, I think that's... I need you to leave right now, I because we are still setting up in here. I think that says, uh, death on there, though. No, are that, you, are you uh, from across, the other one. Are you from across the, the pond there, chum? I need you to leave. Did you do something to Bertha? Who is this funny fella? Is he a counselor too? I'm a gardener, you sick bastard. Well, that's not the kind of language we have here at uh, Camp Life. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna just close this door behind you. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh cool. It's letting it draft in. <laughs> yeah. You gotta keep it nice and warm. We like all our lifers to be nice and warm for the games. We're going to get things real warm. They broke Bertha. Who? He broke Bertha. Is Bertha a new friend? I'd like to meet... Oh. Why did you break Bertha? Oh, is this a throat hug? I like these. Where is the rest of Bertha? He's a... He's a... Oh, oh, oh the hugs are in my heart. Oh, golly. Oh. Oh, well, that's... Oh, that's where life comes from. Oh, I guess I'm transferring camps. Ugh. We'll spread him out, too. Where's the other half of Bertha? We'll find the other half of Bertha. <laughs> See. Well, golly gee. <laughs> I'm gonna vote. <coughs> Actually, yeah. There was a. De- <laughs> I don't think there's a choice in voting. I think it's pretty unanimous. In that, that poor lifer <laughs> has just been recruited <laughs> to camp death. Oh, poor Bertha. 
Bertha. This death is your death. <laughs> Screw the camp lifer. <laughs> Screw that lifer. I think you should give him a blue dice. Well, he gets to decide the color on. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. I actually, grab the camp death thing. I want to see who decides the color on that. Oh, yeah, grab the walkthrough. <coughs> the campaign book strategy guide. Here you go. Holy crap, I just <coughs> murdered someone. You did? <laughs> You were just getting tired of his can-do attitude. I, got, I cannot stand camp lifers, I'm finding out, and have a little bit of a rage problem. Yeah. Okay, um, it's whichever player picks the stun die to resolve the scene gets to decide whether the die is white or black for that scene. Did that scene resolve in a white or black fashion? Good or bad? I he was mean, pretty good. Like, that was, yeah. He was supposed to be like a good guy, and he died goodly. Yeah, well, I mean, now we have oh, another goodly. body. You guys have another body to spread around the camp, which is helping your cause. But also, instead of being unidentified bodies, you straight up killed a guy. <laughs> yeah. I, know. I think with the end goal of creeping them the fuck out, though, that's rather successful. Hard to creep out the dead. <laughs> well, there's still some of them alive. That's true. Okay, so, so I, I guess I it's think that's a good one. Fantastic, which means so. I'm back to neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've died badly and you've died goodly. Man, why do I <laughs> Why are all the dying dice about me? I'm the one person here. Well, I guess no, I do want to kill my my honey. <laughs> because uh, he's a two-timer. Because you are a two but two time and two Now, because of someone, he's only a one-timer. <laughs> so it's all good now, isn't it? crushed my heart. Oh, it's on the screen, okay. I put well, my head in a way where I sort of had the Superman curl from the playback. It's like, the fuck? But no, it's a specific thing on the screen. My Superman yeah. curl's better. Than Superman's even. Yeah. yeah. Oh! They're uh, restarting DBZ. Yeah. Like, what? Restarting? Restarting? Like, yeah. they're, they are making more DBZ. They're going, GT didn't fucking exist. That Aww. was a acid trip dream. Aww. And they're starting after the Boo Saga, but making more DBZ episodes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Cute aside. <clears throat> a non sequitur, really. That's like... Uh, <laughs> um, there, There is a train to this logic. Superman hair. Epic rap battles of history. Goku versus Superman. Goku. Goku's hair. Dragon Ball Z. Awesome news about DBZ. That train was very long and flying off the rails. That was a crazy yeah. train constructed of segways, all driven by Paul Blart. <laughs> <laughs> also, that awesome news, that's depending on who you are. If you're uh, Toriyama, I like GT. it's a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. For me, it's awesome news. Okay. And anyone else? Well, they can get stabbed by half a Bertha. GT was funny. Get out. Not your half of Bertha, my half of Bertha, sure. that Devin has. Mm -hmm. But it's not clear that you have that half of Bertha. <coughs> so what's the scene you're uh, setting up or resolving? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? Um... Not sure what we're doing. Okay, stop. 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 I'm trying to think. <laughs> All this, is, this fiasco is happening right here, and I just can't even concentrate. Um, it's okay, honey. All right, it's the morning. Oh, Jesus. Okay, oh, yeah. so I guess I'm uh, no, creating no, a scene. Beyonce feels. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. I, I'm gonna create a scene. Okay. It is the morning, <clears throat> and two cops have come to investigate Camp Death. <clears throat> I think that's profiling. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because a camp lifer saw you covered in blood, waving a shear around, heading back to Camp Death. 
And so the cops are talking to you about what you recall from last night. Does some? I think someone else needs to be in there. Mm. Does um, someone else need to? Do we have to have two people in it? Oh, then, yeah, either. Um, you, can do, you can do you. No, we can't no. do you. And, well, you could do you and him, but that's two scenes you two have been in. Yep. Um, so if you want to do that, you're going to have to involve me somehow. Yeah, I think I want you in there somehow. You could do those two, so they're, you know, macking and cops show up. Oh. Okay. Have we forgiven each other? Mm, as far as you know. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> this where, is where you could attempt to get your need. Get my rocks off. Well, darn, I wanted you to be cops, though. I can still be a cop. Okay. Then you, you, are a cop. you can also be a cop. You can be a cop. Be a cop. Okay. okay. Why don't you want to be a cop? So, the local enforcement has wheeled on by <coughs> <laughs> and is checking the place out and has found you two, Mackin, um, Mac and more. Am I any particular kind of cop? And good cop, bad cop, mafioso cop. And this is Irish in cop. the haunted cabin thirteen, where anything can happen. Where my shrubberies are. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, it's still haunted. Uh, Krusty's not around right now. I know, but my shrubberies are there. Sure. <laughs> in there. Just remember, in the there, are, there are shrubberies within the haunted camp, camp thirteen. All right. So anything can happen in cabin 13, <coughs> and a neutral officer cop person has now entered into <coughs> our macking and trying to make up 